Convince your players to train at home. Convince your players to set up leagues in their backyard or neighborhood. Players develop by creating a, a environment that is soccer based. If they're not always playing, if they're not always competing, they're not going to develop. You can't rely on training Tuesday and Thursday. A lot of my job as a coach is trying to convince the, uh, the youth to train at home, to play at home. I think that's uh, why I have had a lot of success with the, uh, the, the kids I've coached. The reason they become very technical is because I teach them very creative moves that no one else can do. Teach them things that they never dreamed they would be able to do. And when you teach them creative things, they do it at home because they want to show their brother or sister or mom, dad, uh, friends, and they want to practice it because they want to do what their teammates can do. It's a, it's a good way to develop. So uh, if you want your player to be better, don't go find some club and pay three, $4,000 a year to play or more. Uh, you need to convince them to be part of the soccer culture. Find a way to play and compete where it doesn't require all these rules. Create your own little league, pick up games. I remember taking my son, I would take my son on recruiting trips. We'll be at Reach 11 or Friendship Park or wherever we're at. And I would take them mainly to keep my wife sane because the boys are, can be a little crazy, but I would take them and I'd bring these little puck goals and, you know, little soccer balls and, and, uh, I would set it up. Jack would sit there with the ball and kids would show up and he'd play. And I'd be recruiting for two to three hours and he'd be playing two to three hours against all ages. That's how you develop players. That is why my son is a very, t very talented player. He's a, he understands the game. He can read the game. He can, he, he can combine, he can do things that most kids can't do because I created a, uh, I created him an, an environment for him to, to be that kind of player. I created it through a lot of, a lot of work, but a lot of situations that made sense, you know, bring, bring soccer goals. Um, and, and, and these, these are little soccer goals. These are little pug, the smallest kind you can get. They're really tiny. So it's e easy to transport. Um, but you know, technically you don't even need that. It, it was just more of eye candy for people. Hey, there's soccer goals. Let's go shoot. You know, that's how kids want to play create that environment so they're so they can play if you do that your players are gonna get a lot better or your child's gonna get a lot better take my advice it's correct proof is in my children and the ones i train the podcast you just heard was recorded with anchor if you want to make your own download the android or ios app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast that's anchor.fm slash podcast.